there's been so many good things about the Indians winning streak. And we could talk about starting pitching, which has been not just good, not just great, but elite, almost record breaking. They're hitting home runs. They're playing good defense. They've, been, they've won all these games without Andrew Miller, without Michael Brantley, two all-stars, with Danny Salazar pitching very little. But one of the intriguing things about this Indians team, and it goes back the last several years, was when Bradley Zimmer broke his hand and the Indians were looking for a center fielder. And suddenly, Jason Kipnis is willing to move from second base to center field. Jason Kipnis, a two-time all-star second baseman. Now, this has been a nightmare year for him with two hamstring injuries, a shoulder injury, not hitting very well. But there aren't too many guys with his pedigree and his accomplishments that would say, hey, I will go back and play the outfield. I haven't played it since 2009 in rookie ball, but I'll do it to help the team. And that fits in with how the Indians have been for several years. Think of all the positions Jose Ramirez played. Jose Ramirez was a second baseman in the minors. And then actually he came up to the big leagues originally, played a lot of shortstop. Then he played some second base again. Then he split last year between third base and left field. Guess what? He played neither of those positions if any time in the minors at all. He learned third base and left field at the big league level. You could say, well, that's not that hard. You know, it's one thing if you're learning a new position at Akron or Lake County and you make a mistake. Hardly anybody sees it, a small circle of friends. But when you do it in the big leagues, I mean, you could really look bad. Carlos Santana was originally a catcher. Then he uh, had some concussions began to play first base. Now, way back early in his career, before the Indians traded for him with the Dodgers, he played a little bit of third base, a little bit of outfield, but they immediately made him into a catcher. So he learned first base, which isn't all that hard. But an interesting thing to me, a couple years ago, the Indians were looking for a third baseman. This is before they put Ramirez there. He actually opened the season as a third baseman. It did not go well. He was only there for 25 games. But the fact he was willing to try it showed something, and then go to the World Series last year. The Indians play in Chicago. There's no DH. They're trying to figure out how do we get Mike Napoli and Carlos Santana into the lineup. They're both first basemen, no DH. Santana says, put me in the outfield. And he went out there and did okay. And he's played some outfield this year. But remember, all these guys are millionaires. They're all on long-term contracts. We're talking about switching positions. You know, Lonnie Chisinau has played several positions. And I'll finally go to the last point here. Cody Allen and Andrew Miller, they both are elite closers. They both could want to rack up the saves. They both have been willing to kind of give up some saves to the other guy to make the bullpen better. Again, I'm not saying that everybody's singing kumbaya all the time for the Indians clubhouse, but I'll simply ask this. When was the last time an Indian player really came off as a jerk or was in big trouble with the law or wanted to be traded or any of the things we've seen with some of the other franchises? It hasn't been, it's been years. Chris Antonetti and Mike Chernoff, who picked the roster, signed the guys, traded the guys. Terry Francona, who manages them, have done a great job of not only assembling pretty good people, but making them feel that they come together. And that's why I think for many years, the Indians have overachieved.